Hey folks, today we will learn about volatility skew, wherein we will try to understand what is volatility skew and uh, how can we go ahead and make the most out of that data. So wherein first we will understand how volatility skew is constructed and then eventually we will learn to get a bias or uh, gauge the sentiments of the option traders looking at the volatility skew. So volatility skew has been uh, one of the most crucial indicators what I look out for for directional trading especially when I'm not getting a lot of clues from other indicators. What I mean by this is let's say there would be many instances in the market that no indicator will give you indication about rise or fall in the market. At that time implied volatility skew might give such insights about the sentiments of the option traders. So let me just tell you how exactly it will look like. So First of all, volatility skew is also known as IV skew. It is also not, known as uh, IV smile, volatility smile. So it all means the same. So anyways, in between, ATM IV would be plotted. Okay. So over here, ATM IV, which is uh, average of call and put IV. On right hand side of the skew, OTM call option IV would be plotted. And on the left hand side of the skew, OTM put option IV would be plotted and basically how it will look like let's say it will take average of uh, call and put IV let's say it happens to be something over here let's say OTM put IV would be here the other one would be here the other one would be here and the other one would be here now talking about the OTM call it will do the same thing for all the OTM strikes it will go ahead and plot the implied volatilities and then basically all we need to do is just connect these dots and we will be good to go. And this is how volatility skew, volatility smile will look like. If you just look at it, it will look more like a smile. That is the reason it is called as volatility smile. So now, where will you find volatility smile, volatility skew in the application? So first of all, you can navigate to the uh, IV skew directly from the link in the description box below. And once you are in the app, just use the search panel and just search for skew. Okay, so you will find that analytic, which is volatility skew. We have the application on uh, Android, iOS, as well as web. So just click on wall skew once you are in the app. Now this is how it will look like. Now Apollo Hospital volatility skew is plotted. Let's say Nifty. So this is how it looks. Okay, almost like a smile with slightly steeper slope on the left hand side. So in between ATM is the average of call and put IV, right hand side OTM call left hand side OTM put. So if I just show you that on a tabular view, see, this is the ATM, which is 19,200. Okay. So average of call and put IV is plotted, which is uh, 9.86. So in concept, we have something known as uh, IV repair. What does that mean is on some strikes, the implied volatility, the skew might get distorted because of illiquidity. So IV repaired actually is Quonsap's version of uh, fixing that uh, illiquid, the spike in IV skew because of illiquidity issue. Anyways, this is the implied volatility of ATM 19,200 strike price call option. Over here, as you can see, left hand side puts. So over here, as we go below 19,000, this is what is mentioned over here. So OTM put option IV has been plotted, if you see over here. And on the right hand side, OTM call option IV has been plotted. If you see 19,250k open, so from this side to this side, OTM call option IV has been plotted. Now, how do I go ahead and make a sense out of this data? So first of all, looking at this, you should always check where the lowest point of the skew is. So wherever there is lowest point of the skew, that is the level where market participants are expecting the market to head towards, okay? So the lowest point becomes a critical point for us because over there, the implied volatility is lowest. The uncertainty is lowest at that point. So over here, the, the most, I would say, the least uncertainty lies at 19,400. So all you need to do is just observe the lowest point. Now, another thing what we can do is we can navigate to historical, which is implied volatility skew historical. Now, what does really mean is it will show us, okay, the historical skews, how it looked like. So if I want to see the data from uh, 
21st of August 2023 to 25th of August 2023. If I want to increase the data, let's say I want to see the data from 16th of August, I can do that. Look back, let's say 7. So I can go about it that way as well. Okay. Now over here, if you just hover your cursor, so I'll just explain you how to read this graph. The lightest curve is showing us the oldest data. So in this scenario, which is the lightest curve? The lightest curve is this, which is of 16th of August. Okay, so lighter the curve, the older the data is. Denser the curve, more darker the curve is, the latest the data is. So over here, if you see, this is the darkest. So that is trying to show us today's wall skew. And also if you see at some points, there are the lowest points which are marked. So now if you just hover your cursor, you will get to see what was the volatility on various strike prices but apart from that you will also get to see that uh, some some levels have been marked 10.06 8.86 so why these levels are marked these levels are marked because those were the lowest point of volatility skews on that day now coming back how can i go ahead and gauge directional sentiments looking at this so by the way you can choose nifty bank nifty and other instrument so one of the ways to you know observe the or to gauge the directional sentiments looking at the volatility skew is such that observe the lowest point of the skew how it has shifted compared to yesterday that means what was the volatility skew's lowest point yesterday compare it with lowest point of the volatility skew today okay what was yesterday versus today and just observe how it has shifted if it is, if it remains where it is, then no directional bias, no directional sentiments comes out of volatility skew. But if it moves towards the right, okay, if the lowest point in the wall skew, if it moves towards the right, it will indicate bullish sentiment. If it moves towards the left, it will indicate me a bearish sentiment. Okay, so shift in the lowest point of wall skew towards right indicates bullish sentiment. Shift towards left in the lowest point of wall skew indicates bearish sentiment. So this is one of the way looking at volatility skew. Apart from that, along with the volatility skew, we can also combine some other indicators such as uh, charting indicators or we can combine historical built ups. So, you know, to make more uh, conviction on our trades, volatility skew can be a good starting point wherein when you don't have uh, any indicator which is indicating your rise or fall. So eventually what happened today, so let me just show you again. See, Nif Bank Nifty down by 0.87 percentage. Okay. Now, if you just, just see this. Lowest point of all skew yesterday was this, which is on 24th of August. Today, lowest point of all skew is this on 25th of August, which is 11.6. So 11.6 is nothing but the implied volatility, the lowest point of implied volatility. So there was a left shift and which eventually resulted in pointed percentage fall in Bank Nifty. So I'm not saying that uh, it would work 100% of times. It, it, it may not work 100% of times, obviously like other indicators out there. But the scenario is when there is no indicator absolutely which is indicating rise or fall, wall skew would come handy for all of us to actually gauge directional sentiments on basis of the option traders who are taking trades and on the basis of implied volatility. So do check out volatility skew from link in the description box below and identify sentiments looking at the volatility skew.